Everybody, in the last video I walked you through the until bump switch and I showed you at the very end that we have a whole list of commands over here with the PLCW natural language menu that we can use in order to um, wait until things happen before we move forward. So I have a, a quick little program here um, and you can see it starts with the LED on and then it's going to wait for the potentiometer to read greater than 1500. I did a bad job of highlighting there, but wait for the potentiometer to read greater than 1500 before it moves forward. So I'm going to show you then real quick, the, the only reason I'm making a video of this is it's slightly different. We're going to take the until potentiometer greater than command, and I'm going to just going to drag it into place. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this back to where it looks good. There we go. And you'll notice this time, so in the last one with until bump, you just had to say inside the parentheses which switch you were talking about. Here, it wants to know two things. It says until it's greater than what is the first thing. So if we want to go greater than 1500, which is a potential reading for the potentiometer, then we're going to type that number in. And then the second thing is, is the sensor port. Now for this, I need to go up to um, robot. I'm going to go to motor and sensor setup. I haven't even set up my test bed, so that's my fault. Let's go to the POEM, POE and SIM test bed. And we are looking for the potentiometer, which is input two, or it's just named potentiometer. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. I'm going to click OK so my motors and sensors are set up. So you'll notice that it just put in that Pragma config uh, line up at the top. And um, we're going to drop it in right here, Control V to paste it in. So now that's the only difference. There's a comma in between, kind of like we do with Excel whenever we're working through like a sum if formula. The two things it needs to know is what's the number it needs to be greater than, and then what's the actual tool that we're using to take this measurement. And in this case, we have named it potentiometer. If you named it something else, we would need to change the name here as well. So hopefully that video makes sense. That's the difference between until bump and until potentiometer. And you're going to see over here, as I look at this menu, there's a lot of them that have sensors where you have a comma and a reading that separates the sensor name and the position like this. Here's one until encoder, until bump, until sonar is greater or greater than, so on and so forth. So there you go. Hopefully that's enough to get you going on the next set of 3.1.3.